Some tech for scoring in pickleball. Welcome back to Textination. I'm Fred Fishkin. Joining us from a company called Dropshot is founder Josh Brown. Hi, Josh. Hi, Fred. Thanks for having me. Great a pleasure. Well, we, we all know that pickleball is has taken off and they're growing in popularity, I guess, every day. And you've developed a smart electronic pickleball scoreboard or scorecard. Give us an overview of what you're doing there. Thanks. Yeah, it's uh, electronic scoreboard, as you mentioned. It's uh, designed specifically for pickleball players. It's actually more than a scoreboard. It's a platform that allows players to connect and see other scores of their friends and keep in touch. And yeah, we've if if anybody's ever played pickleball, they've experienced this challenge of keeping track of not just the score but also the serving number and the serving side you have to keep track of all of these things in between every rally gets a little confusing but we've developed this product that keeps track of all that for you all you do is uh, mention which team won the last rally so if it's you or the other team and then everything else gets updated the score the serving number the serving position and you can now focus on the game you don't have to worry about in between each rally trying to Remember, play that guessing game as everybody does. So step us through how, how it's used. Yeah, so you can either have, the, we've developed an Apple Watch app, or we ha also have a tiny remote control that you can use, and it connects to the scoreboard with Bluetooth. And you can, uh, there's just two simple options on either version, the app or the remote control, where you just say, we won or they won. And uh, I can flash it up here really quick, but it's it's just a a simple way of saying keeping track of the the server number and the serving side as well as the score. And you could just say which team won. Let's say they won. So then it it goes to server two and it jumps sides, or it goes to the other side if they won another rally. So yeah, it's it it. Uh, it works quite well for the purpose, which is keeping the game moving, keeping everybody having fun within a game of pickleball. Um, yeah. So there, there aren't the disputes as to I, what is the score? I think it's this and you think it's that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I heard maybe you played before and uh, it's, it's the popularity is, is growing and, yeah, as soon as you try play. So the 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 game is incredibly addicting playing pickleball. As soon as you you pick it up, it's something that's really easy to start playing from day 1, but gets really hard to become really good. And so but the the where where it gets you on day 1 is that you're trying to remember the rules, you're trying to remember which which where you're supposed to be standing, where you're supposed to be serving. So it helps from beginners to advanced players. If you're just learning pickleball, this will help you keep you keep track of score. And if you're already an advanced player, you can now focus on the game. You don't have to worry about remembering those three things between each rally. It's it's something that uh, avoids a lot of finger for like, were you server two? No, I think I was, and it was five, six, and it was server two, but I don't know. I, no, let's do that one over again. So, yeah, it, it it avoids all of that confusion and allows people to just play the game that's fun. Well, tell us about your background and how this came about. Sure. Yeah. So my background is I went to school for mechanical engineering and moved to New Zealand for a few years and was a design engineer working on super yachts and then came back to the United States and started a company with a friend of mine, got into software. So we were uh, started out as consultants and then automated what we what we uh, learned working for the federal courts of Maryland and built software. And then uh, did that for quite a few years. And that was how I got into software side of things. So I have a, a hardware and a software background. And a few years ago, we got into pickleball and this just... There's there's that challenge that kept coming up at each game, and the, that's where that part of my mind where it's like the, there's got to be a solution to this kind of problem. So it it was a natural fit for my brain just to solve this kind of issue with oh you could do it with software 
alone with an app, or you could have a physical scoreboard that everybody can see and solves that problem too. So it was a win-win. And uh, where does the physical location of the scoreboard, uh, how does, yeah, that, how does yeah. that work? Where do you put it? Yeah, you can you can have it sitting on the side of the court. It has little feet on the back and you can have it sitting on the ground or uh, so it sits on the ground like that. Or you can flip it upside down and hang it on the fence and the, the digits automatically flip to the other side. So that uh, it, it gives you options to hang it because oftentimes on the side of a pickleball score uh, court, there's going to be uh, a chain link fence or something else sitting there. And so this will allow you to put it on the ground, put it on a bench, put it on the fence. Doesn't matter. Any, anywhere you want on the side of the court is we've, we've designed it so that it's super bright. It can be sitting in the sunlight. Uh, it, it handles rain. It handles anything you can throw at it. It's super durable battery I mean, lasts. Is it rechargeable? Day. Rechargeable battery, and it's it's got a, a a quite a quite a big battery in it to be able to power those LEDs all day. Super bright. Um, yeah, there's uh, super. It recharges in in uh, a, a couple hours, but it lasts all day. And you went on to Kickstarter with this and got pretty pretty quickly funded. Tell us about that. Yeah, it just launched last week, and we were blown away by the support we got from the pickleball community. Um, it, it received, uh, we, we met our goal within 30 minutes and uh, continue to grow on that. And yeah, it's exclusively on pick, on Kickstarter at the moment. And you can get one there for quite a, quite a discount over what it's going to be once we launch it after after the kickstarter campaign ends well t tell us how that works what is the pricing like and i know it can get complicated a little bit on kickstarter. yeah yeah kickstarter does if you're an early adopter the sooner you get in the better deal you get and as the time goes through on the campaign the tiers uh become expired and and you get a new a, a new tier that so it's yeah it, it in, incentivizes people to get in as early as possible and it, yeah, it's, but it's still even the final tier is going to be much cheaper than anything we'll we'll offer afterwards. So it's it's, it's quite the discount. Where, where does pricing start now? Where can people get in at? At the moment, I believe it is because I think a tier just started today, and it's two nineteen, and that's uh, off of the MSRP, which is two seventy nine. Terrific. So, when will people be able to actually get their hands on on these if if they if they back it now? Yeah. So we have a quite a conservative viewpoint on the on the message because we we don't what we didn't want to do was tell people, oh yeah, it's gonna come, it's gonna come, and then keep pushing it out. So we've estimated about before, or the beginning of summer twenty five. Um, we have our manufacturers lined up. We have everything in place. They're saying we could get it done a lot sooner, but I want to be much more conservative, add a lot of extra buffer in there. So it's well, you'll be playing by next summer for sure with it. So for more info, where do we steer people to go? Yeah, you can go to uh, godropshot.com and that'll forward you to the Kickstarter campaign at the moment. And Depending on when you see this, it'll it'll if the Kickstarter is not running, then it'll direct you straight to our website as well. That website again is godropshot.com. That's right. Congratulations on the innovations there, Josh. Thank Thanks, you for spending Fred. time with us. Absolutely. I love love the program you have and the other podcasts you run. You've been a, a an institution for quite a while. And I, I'm super grateful that you have me on.